From schools across the city to the steps of the state capitol, thousands of Denver teachers began the strike today. They're calling for higher pay. The latest numbers from Denver Public Schools shows more than 2,600 teachers did not report to work today. That's about 56% of the total number of non-charter teachers in the district. We don't know how many students skipped class today. We do know that schools like East High School, hundreds of kids did leave the building this morning. We are continuing our team coverage of today's strike and 9 News reporter Katie Eastman will join us in a minute with what the district had to say about day one of the strike. I want to start though with uh, 9 News reporter Noel Brennan who's live down at the state capitol. Noel, some of the teachers that you talked to throughout the day say they'd rather be teaching right now but they have to do what they're doing right now. Absolutely, and what they did today, Tom, was they showed up here at the Capitol. This place was absolutely packed with people. All of the west steps, the entire lawn, it is obviously cleared out now, but at 2 o'clock it was filled with all of those teachers and their supporters, and it was really the end of the day for the, many of these teachers. Uh, their day started very early on the picket line. Some were on highway overpasses. We caught up with one group of teachers in West Wash Park who are getting a lot of support in the form of a new teacher's lounge. Our schools! Our schools! Our schools! Our schools! Mondays are typically school days. Our schools! But today, teachers recite chants and rewrite hit songs. It's all about that bass, about that bass, no bonus. Still, this feels less than familiar to teachers at Lincoln Elementary who say they'd rather be in a classroom. We are picketing, we are striking, we're not at work today. We are ready to be out here as long as it takes um, in order to get a fair contract negotiated with the district. While they wait for the union and district to reach a deal on their contracts. We have uh, 22 teachers out here. These teachers at least have a taste of something familiar. The teacher's lounge house, <laughs> yeah. A parent offered up a vacant rental house, now decorated in student artwork and stocked with food. We had bagels and breakfast burritos and egg muffins and baked goods. A better spread than the lounge at school. <laughs> There's a lot more food, <laughs> yeah. It's home base during the strike for about two dozen teachers, some who admit they're struggling. Although I'm a distinguished teacher and I've been at this school for um, eight years, I'll have to leave the district if something doesn't change. Change is what they hope for. Gotta lock it up. Which is why they won't lounge here for long. T A D C T A D C T A D C. So that home on South Logan is going to be, like I said, a home base for those teachers for as long as they need it during this strike. And Tom and Kim, the teachers told me today that they have heard from so many parents at their school, Lincoln Elementary, who have offered up their homes as well in the area in case anyone needs a bathroom break when they're walking by, marching, for example, in the days ahead. Yeah, no, I think this has been one of those days where everybody knew it was coming but didn't know what it would feel like until mm -hmm. it got here because it certainly extended well beyond teachers and the district. It now started to affect many people in, in the Denver metro area. Absolutely, and uh, I mean, affect just with traffic. You can see uh, just how busy this place was. Trying to get around the Capitol earlier today was probably pretty tough, uh, just with the, all the amount of cars and people slowing down and honking their horns because of all the teachers that were on the front lawn here. Hmm. Yeah, it is prepping yourselves and then not knowing what to imagine when it actually happens. It's here. All right, thank yeah. you, Noel.